Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'd like to share with you how to create that liquid split RGB title in DaVinci Resolve, so let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve we're now on the edit page and we're going to start by bringing a new fusion composition in our timeline. Now we can move over to fusion and here the first thing we're going to do is bring a new background and we're going to link that background to the media out. Now let's bring our text node and we're going to link the output of that text node to the background to just link it with a merge. Here we're gonna select our text and write whatever we want. So here I'm gonna go with DaVinci and we're gonna change the font for popping. And instead of bold, I'm gonna select black. I'm gonna increase the size and here we're just gonna bring it up a little bit to give it some space when we're gonna create the liquid effect. Now to deform the text and create that liquid effect, we're gonna use a grid wrap. So I'm just gonna bring here my text up a little bit. It shifts space on my keyboard and we're gonna search for grid and here we're just going to select grid wrap we're just going to bring that node in here i want to go to magnet type change from region to selected and i'm just going to increase here the x grid size to the maximum and same here for the y grid size then i'm going to go to frame 25 here i'm going to drop a keyframe right there for mesh animation then i'm going to go to frame 50 and here what we're going to want to do is select all the point below the text right there make sure that you don't select the point that are touching the text select only the ones below it then you can click shape box just to have control over all those points at once and now we're going to zoom out from the viewer by going right there select 25 percent and now we're going to move that box out of the way and as you can see it's just stretching our text so here we're just going to drag it until the text is stretched out of the frame all good now we can just go back to fit and now if we play it, as you can see, we've just created the first step to create that liquify text. The second step is going to be to bring a waviness node. So here I'm going to select my text and my grid wrap, just bring them up to make a bit more space. Then select my grid wrap, hit shift space on the keyboard, and we're going to search for waviness. And here we're just going to bring the waviness node in. For the waviness node, I'm just going to untick animate. I'm going to bring the scale down to 22. And then here the strength to 10. Then we're going to go to frame 25. Here I'm just going to drop a keyframe on the strength at 10. And then I'm going to go to frame 0. And I'm going to bring the strength down to 0. And then I'm going to go back to frame 25. Drop a keyframe on the face at 0. Then go to frame 50 and bring the face up to 0 0.16. And now if we play it, as you can see, we've added some wave animation, but here it stopped at 50. So I want to just loop that. To do that, we're going to go over to the spline. Here, I'm just going to close a bit my inspector. And here in spline, I want to select face, hit zoom to fit, select my two points. And then here, I'm just going to click on set relative. It's basically just going to replicate what we've done here from 25 to 50 and increase it and continue to just increase the phase over and over again, which result on here having that waviness effect just continuing. Now I'm going to untick phase and then we're going to go to the grid wrap. We're just going to click zoom to fit once more. Here I'm going to select my first point and I'm going to take this handle and just make a curve that looks like this. Here I select the second point and just bring that handle that way, just like this. And now we have our liquid animation, which is going to need to animate the animation in and add the RGB split. Then for the animation in, we're going to go to the text one. And here we're just going to go drop a keyframe on the tracking at frame 25. Go to frame zero. And here we're just going to increase the tracking to about 2.5. I think it's fine like this. And then we're going to go to frame 18. Here go to shading drop a keyframe on the opacity at 1 and then go to frame 0 and bring the opacity down to 0. Here in my spline editor, I'm just going to untick the grid wrap and I'm going to untick the opacity, just leaving the character spacing. Hit zoom to fit here to see all my point and then we're just going to select those two point. Hit S on our keyboard just to smooth out that curve. So now we've created the core animation of this title. We're just going to add a couple of things to make it look a bit nicer. The first thing is going to be our RGB split. And the second thing is going to be a nice background. So let's start with the RGB split. I'm going to go to my text one here. We're going to go to shading and I'm going to go to select element number two. Click enable here. We're going to go and switch from outline to fill. Here I'm going to open the position drop down and we're going to put an offset at 0.01. And we're going to open the softness and here we're going to put softness on the X parameter at two. Then we're going to go to select element number five. Here I'm going to enable it. I'm going to click color and we're going to switch the color right now from white to cyan. Then we're going to go over to position. 
we're gonna put the offset x at minus 0.01 and the y to 0.01. Then here in softness on the x parameter, I'm gonna change it from 0 to 2. And now we've created all split algebra look, just as you can see here, if we go back to the beginning, it's just appearing. So we're gonna need to keyframe it also on the opacity. So here I'm gonna go at frame 25. I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the opacity at one. Then I'm gonna go to select element number two, drop a keyframe also on the opacity at one. Then we can go to frame 18 and we can drop that opacity down to zero and go back to select element number five and drop the opacity down to zero. So now that we're done with our RGB split, we're gonna just create a nice background. To do that very simply, we're gonna go over to template, here head it, then generator, and here we're just gonna bring a noise gradient in our working area. I'm then gonna select the output of that noise gradient and link it here to my background. Then here I'm gonna select the noise gradient and go to version number six. Here I'm gonna increase the detail to the maximum. I'm gonna increase the contrast to the maximum. And here tick discontinuous. And here we're gonna increase the scale a little bit. And then here we're gonna bring the brightness down. And you can just select the amount that you like. If you want to have a lot of that effect, you can just bring the brightness all the way down. For this one, I'm gonna be fairly subtle. So about minus 59 seems to be good to me. And that's it, we're done. That's how to create that liquid title in the DaVinci Resolve. Please let me know in a comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.